Today, we're putting together this Mockleby table from Ikea. We're going to show you how we did it, and we're going to tell you what we think about it. Stick with us. Hi, welcome to the Handyverse, where we approach home ownership mindfully, turning to DIYs and first resort where knowledge and skills allow it. Uh, today, we are replacing this table. Uh, Suzanne has bought three used tables. Um, <laughs> To this point, trying to find the one that she wants for this space, and uh, and we were going to restore a, a, a used one. This was the closest we had. We've been using this for a year now, um, but uh, finally we just went out and we bought one. We bought an IKEA. The I don't I don't know how to say it right. The Mockles Mockleby. I don't know if that's pronounced right, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, apologies to any Swedish people out there. But uh, today we're going to put it together and give you our thoughts on it. Uh, we didn't look at the instructions or anything on this, so this could be a pretty simple short video, but uh, we thought people might want to see it anyway. So here we go. First thing is clear this out and pop the boxes open and take a look at what's inside. So this comes in three boxes. Those two are the tabletop surface, and this, I assume, is everything else. So yes, it says no knife. Don't use the knife? I'm going to use a knife, but we're just going to put the blade at a little touch to break the tape. If you scratch the table, you're in trouble. So this is the bottom of the package. You can tell because there's some holes in it for mounting, I assume. I still haven't found anything with instructions other than there's a sheet of paper that says to do it on a cardboard surface and not the floor. So I'm just gonna spread these out and open up the other one and uh, lay them side by side on the cardboard for the packaging and then uh, go to the next step with the legs, I assume. That's the bottom too. Has more holes. Yeah. Did you get two of the same package? Did you get the right packages? <laughs> Just joking. This is why I work on things by myself. Okay, I honestly though I'm confused. How are those two big pieces, the bottom, like where's the top in that little box? You flip it over. It's the underneath of the top. Oh, it's the underneath of the top. Did you record that? I hope you recorded <laughs> that. <laughs> That's why I only get to paint it, things. We've we seen that. Hmm? We've seen that. Well, I legit question. If you do use a knife, it's not on us if you scratch your table, for the record. Oh boy. It's kind of more pieces to this than I thought. Mockleby! It's actually more pieces in here than I thought there was going to be. Uh, so, we found the instructions in this, so we're going to start with that. Look how happy this guy is. Ooh, what, what's he doing? He's doing something right. What is it? Oh, it's on cardboard? Yeah. Oh, because if you don't do it on cardboard, you end up like that guy. Yeah, it's broken and angry. <laughs> this is standard kind of IKEA instructions. This is just a tool to help hold the stuff, so you can uh, slide the Allen key in. And it just makes it a bit easier to use. Still not ideal. We'll see how far I get before I switch to the power tools. So look at the bag of screws. Uh, we went right to the ratcheting screwdriver and the drill for this. But to... let's zoom back a little bit here. 
the first step is to assemble the um, supports for either end and uh, to gather them up what we did was we looked for these ones with a notch first which is here for the bottom piece we found the top pieces um, set them up there then we got our end pieces and, and one thing to note on the end is that uh, um, one side has uh, horizontal holes the other side has vertical holes so you can't mess it up well maybe you can <laughs> i don't think we're you not can. done yet no we're not done yet well if if you can mess it up we'll, we'll do it so um that's a, one way to gather your pieces up so we're just gonna follow along with these directions now and uh, put the dowels in and the screws and and what are those those they, they go in here what is it for they meet with with these oh. so those screws come in that side into those pieces that you put up here and you tighten them in place so we're going to assemble these two end supports now Also a lot easier if you have a rubber mallet. Please note that the hole lines up with the slot. So this should be perpendicular. No, this should be parallel to your board. be losing your mind if you're using one of these right now for the record just get a screwdriver you'd be losing your mind yes just get something with a bit Suzanne's doing this one. This is the test of whether or not you can screw it up. Is it breaking? We've got the two end pieces done. We just need to put the decorative, uh, whatever you call them, on the end. Um, so it's just, is it one dowel? Yeah, one dowel on each one. And then the screw. That's, it's these here screws that you need for these, so the black ones. How are you supposed to tell that from the picture? You can tell by the style of the head and the screw. Huh. And it makes sense because these might be visible, so you want it to be a nicer screw than the big silver ones. 
Okay, with those on, next thing is to actually lay out the two pieces on the floor for the top and attach these, um, whatever you call them, end supports, the legs, I guess, yeah, table legs. Um, one thing to note on this, uh, it should be pretty straightforward, but there's a note here. These must be angled at the top. So you wanna make sure when you do install them that you have they're, they're angled outwards, yeah. not pointed inwards. Um, so just make sure that they're going the right way when you do put them on the tabletop. Okay, so eight screws. Good luck if you're still using the Allen key. When lining these up, note the holes here to screw the legs into. Make sure you have those on the inside. They're not going to be on your outer edge of the table. They should be in the middle here. So if you're not sure which way they're leaning, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but this hole here, the, the counter bore, should be on the outside. So that's an easy way to tell. But now we're just gonna drop this on the, on the dowels. Checking the space in here, so I don't quite know how far apart these go. So with those two legs on, the next step is this main cross piece and it's literally just uh, drive a couple screws into it. Is it gonna go through to my leg? Yeah. Is it? I think so, yeah. <laughs> The next step looks like we just put a dowel in between the two, um, I don't know, angled pieces and then put it in place. There's two screws, drive down through the bottom rail and then a couple screws, one in each end to hold it in place. Now we eat. Oh, what's that? We'll put the feet in. Oh, the feet. Yeah. Those slide in pretty easy by hand.
weight of this thing. It's pretty heavy. So there you have it. That's putting together the table. Um, not too hard to put together, but there are some things that you need to be aware of. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out. As far as what we think about the table, we really like it, it for one. Uh, it is really heavy and rigid and big. It's big. It is big, uh, but luckily we have the space for it here. The one thing we would note is that uh, we're not happy with how that screw head shows underneath the table here. We're probably going to do something to cover that up. Other than that, it seems to clean up well. She likes the color, which is good. So you can fit eight at the table quite easily. Everybody with lots of space. If you had ten, you could do it. It'd be a little bit cramped. Suzanne likes that there's a bar to put her feet on underneath the table. One thing to note, the chairs at the end of the table, the, you won't be able to push them in too far because uh, there is that cross piece there. But it's not too bad. If you look down at the end, this end of the table, um, that's about as far as you can push a chair in. But, you know, for us, that's okay. So that's it. If you like this, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.